Hi hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase video. We have some awesome Ultramarine Primaris models today for you guys to check out. If you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then Siege Studios is a UK based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 members of staff that all paint across a various array of levels from our bronze entry level, which is an above tabletop level, all the way up to our platinum level, which is a competition entry quality level. Uh, if you are interested in a quote or commission with us, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video video where you can find the link to our contact form on the Siege website. Click on that link, go to the contact form, select the relevant drop down options for your project and your commission. And then in the message section, include a list of models in our format, which is also shown on that contact form. Fire that off to us to get the process started and we'll come back to you with a quote accordingly. Uh, thanks so much for watching up to until now. We're going to come back in a second and have a look at these awesome Ultramarine Primaris in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up guys, let's have a look at the Primaris Lieutenant in Phobos armor. Really cool model. It came from the Shadow Spear box. He looks very stoic and defiant there in that post a scouring for a new target. I do first and foremost love all the little extra details on him, all the lenses, lights. Um, he's got more knives than you can shake a stick at, which is really, really cool. Uh, and I do like the fact that they've kept on these uh, Phobos Marines and these uh, Vanguard Marines, these, the old sort of style bolters as well, which is really cool. Uh, a bit more of a carbine, which is quite nice. Um, just do really like that. But as you can see, every little aspect of detail fully picked out and painted. Um, you've got all the Chevron power cables, the, the writing on the purity seals, every lens and dial is all fully painted. Every edge is done on the model as well, as you can see. But overall, a lovely, lovely finish on this Lieutenant. Perfect to lead your small sort of uh, Space Marine Primaris Force. Um, great sort of uh, stoic figure as well. And great to have on yourself to display as well, which is really nice. Um, Fle uh, Fletcher's done a great job on all the little aspects of detail work and highlighting on these models as well, which is really cool. And you'll see that through the video. Uh, so that's just the Lieutenant in Phobos armor. Next up, we're going to be having a look at the uh, rest of the infantry and then uh, some of the eliminators and suppressors as well. So they're coming up shortly. See you guys back in a second. So next up, let's have a look at the Vanguard Marines from this force, all in Phobos armor, really, really cool models with extra details than normal Primaris, which is uh, extra investment of time, which is really cool. Uh, so let's go from left to right. And uh, probably one of my favorite out of the uh, sculpts from the kit is the dude tossing the grenade, which is quite cool. Uh, and Fletcher has done a stellar job on all the highlighting and extra little detail work. So you can see every lens and dial all fully painted, all fully picked out. Um, all the point of light source in the lenses is done really nicely uh, in a very crisp and clean finish on these as well which is really really cool again loving these bolt carbines that they've got really really cool that they're using the old uh, sort of style bolters and keeping them kind of in fashion with these new sort of Primaris models which is lovely so that's just the first one and we'll go through a couple of the well all of them from the back uh, again you can see here every dial and little lens all painted as well on these which is lovely so that's just the next one uh, sergeant from this unit again here you can see all the sort of facial details painted there lovely eyes and everything all fully picked out uh, you've got that lovely gorgeous sort of radio mic thing that's been picked out and painted with the red complimentary sergeant color as well you've got his uh slung bolter there just as he's bellowing people on and he's looking at his wrist gauntlet there as you can see with a lovely screen point of light source and all the dials and everything all fully painted and picked out moving around just so you can see the clean finish all over the model uh, but again every edge fully painted fully highlighted um guy at the back just using his pistol and his sidearm maybe for a precision shot really really cool so that's just him uh, and then we've got the Medicaid dude from the units uh, with a really, really cool sort of wrist mounted uh, Narthesium, which is cool. All the little vials and everything there as well. The screen all fully painted with a little sort of screen glow on it as well, which is nice. And all the little buttons picked out and painted. Every lens there on the gun, you can see all done. And the purity seals have got text. And you've got his Medicaid pack there at the back with that little Medicaid symbol on it as well, which is a really nice little touch. Uh, so that's just the first five. The next one, same sculpt again, but very consistent, just so you can see the consistency from model to model and move around. Around so you can see all of the edges and everything uh, and then two back dudes which are a little bit different and uh, they've got obviously the same sort of moving advanced pose but you can see the consistency from model to model and you can pick up one from another unit put it next to it and obviously the consistency is exactly the same uh, moving back to the back dude again so you can see him and again exactly the same like this sort of pose on this where he's just bracing to take a shot as well which is really cool 
So that's just lovely. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the sergeant. Again, you can see all the areas of detail, like the eyes and everything fully painted and picked out, which is really, really cool. Lovely red tonal variation there on the skin tone. Uh, obviously, transfers and things have been added on these dudes as well. Again, all the lenses and everything fully painted, script on the purity seal, moving around every grenade and every pouch, and every trinket all painted as well, which is really cool. So that's just the sergeant. Last chap, again, same again, taking a shot, uh, really braced, which is really nice. Uh, and again, every little aspect of detail, again, painted, even the little lights on the back of the pack as well, which is a lot missed out quite a lot of time. So that's a good example of our bronze level here at Siege. So this is what you should expect from us as a minimum standard. Uh, we are an above uh, tabletop painting studio at our minimum, all the way up to competition entry quality. Uh, and that, coming up next, we're going to have a look at the awesome eliminators and the suppressors. Stick around, they're coming up shortly. And lastly, for this force, we have the suppressors and the eliminators. Two awesome sets of models, very unique, very distinguished, uh, and they obviously perform different roles on the table, which is cool, but the models themselves have loads of intricate little details on them that Fletcher has spent a lot of time working on to get them to a lovely, lovely standard. So let's dive in and have a look at some of these suppressors first and foremost. Again, just get this to focus for you guys. A really, really cool overall finish on these. Every lens and dial and everything fully painted. All the purity seals have got text on them as well, which is really nice. The point of light source on the eyes, uh, which is really cool. We've got these Eliminator Auto Cannons as well, I think they're called. I can't remember what they're called exactly, but if, um, if, if I get them wrong, correct me in the comments, please, guys. I can't remember the name. Uh, and again, you can see every edge fully painted and picked out, which is lovely. So that's just this. And you've got transfers on all of them as well, which is really cool. So that's just the first of these uh, suppressors, and it's uh, the, the sergeant is up next. So let's have a look at him with a red sort of um, gorget kind of armoured collar kind of bit for him, just to distinguish him as obviously the sergeant, uh, which is really, really cool. So that's just uh, this dude here moving around. You can see everything. And I remember now they're called Accelerator Auto Cannons. So there you go. If you, anyone's correcting me in the comments, thank you, but I've, uh, I've got it. <laughs> uh, again, you see the lenses are all painted in lovely green, complementary for the red and blue, which is lovely. Um, and again, you can see all the transfer and everything done there but every pouch lens harness strap everything fully painted and fully highlighted uh, and that's the sergeant we'll pull forward the final one of the uh of the three eliminate uh, suppressors as you can see here and again really really cool sort of pose it looks like he's about to open burst fire with that or something which is cool i do like the fact it's got a massive ammo feed on it as well just uh would be firing lots and lots of shots as well so that's just him and then we'll have a look at the eliminators the sniper elite of the primaris force really really cool uh, models which has done a stellar job with the camo cloaks as well again every single little detail all painted all highlighted uh, all picked out lenses everything lovely transition there on the on the sort of uh, goggles as well which is really cool and the sort of uh, uh viewing thing that he's got i can't remember the name of it but um but yeah so that's just uh fully painted in a lovely fashion but you can see all the edges done across all of the model which is really nice uh, again little glow on that cable there as well which is quite cool uh which is a lovely lovely little finish to him so that's just the sergeant and then we'll pull forward the two compadres that he's got uh, again, you can see this dude just taking a shot here, all the goggles and everything fully painted, the little screens on the wrists all done as well, uh, all the transfers added to these and a lovely, lovely, super clean finish across the board for these awesome eliminators. Uh, so that's just another one there. And then the last one from the unit is uh, another one with goggles, but Mr. Bearhead uh, with a lovely, lovely Mohican and uh, you've got all the little details all painted on him text on the purity seals there as well which is really really subtle and nice and then every little button and dial all painted as well and these awesome awesome camo cloaks that he's got uh, that they've got so that's just the last one so i do hope you like that guys we're going to come back and have a look at the whole force again in its glory and you can find out a little bit more about how to take out commission with us here at siege like this one or like something else see you guys back in a second So thanks for checking the video out, guys. Really appreciate it ever so much. And I do hope you've liked these awesome Ultramarine Primaris models. I know Fletcher really enjoyed working on them. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where the link to our contact form can be found. Click on that link and it will take you directly to our website's contact form where you need to select the relevant drop-down options from those available for your project. And then in the message section, include a list of models in our format, which is also shown on that contact form. Fire that off to us to get the process started and hear back from us with a quote. Uh, if you are new on YouTube to us here then please do give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you do click the bell icon you will be updated when new videos do go up on our channel and also in the description of the video you can find the links to all of our social media so Instagram Twitter and also Facebook respectively go give us a like and follow on those and you can also keep up to date with everything that we put out on those platforms as well thanks so much for watching I'll see you guys on the next one take care bye bye 
I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really guys, so thank you very much and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.